All right, welcome in everyone. Uh, welcome to the, the latest session, the latest Instron Live session. Uh, my name is Dan Caesar. I am a, a software product uh, manager here at Instron. And today's session, we're gonna be focusing in on named transducers. So a transducer, a transducer is one of the devices, one of the sensors, like a load cell, like an exensometer that is connected into your Instron frame allows us to collect a lot of data to ultimately have some calculations and results that everyone cares about. Um, but what is a named transducer? It's kind of a term that we use here at Instron associated to customizing the label, the actual identifier of a transducer uh, to allow you to link that to a particular test method to make sure that when an operator is running, running a test that they have the, the correct transducer, whether it be the correct capacity load cell, the correct exensometer with a, the correct length, uh, gauge length or travel uh, as they're running that particular test. So we're just gonna jump right in to see exactly what this looks like, so how this can benefit your lab. And so we've just, we've just transferred the screen over to Blue Hill Universal, and I'm gonna pretend that I I'm an operator that the system behind me, I'm about to run a sample on, that I have configured the, the load string as I uh, believe is appropriate. And I'm going to unlock the frame and attempt to start the test. But I quickly can see that uh, an error has popped up. And if we read what this error says, it says that my 10 kilonewton load cell is not available. Um, so immediately, clearly something is wrong. I wasn't able to start, to start the test. So as the, as the operator, I'm gonna double check kind of the work that I was doing. Um, just say 10 minutes ago, I was running a different test method. I had broken down my fixtures, swapped the load cell out. Uh, but what I realized is that my five kilonewton load cell that I was using for my previous test is actually still plugged in. So even though I mounted my 10 kilonewton load cell properly, put the grips in place, um, that unfortunately I didn't swap out the actual connectors. Uh, and so very easily I will switch, make sure my 10 kilonewton load cell is, is plugged in. Everything looks good, hopefully this time. Uh, and just like that, uh, I will run my test. So no errors uh, as expected. And, and really what I was able to do is, is save myself where I could have just been running tests with a load cell that had an in incorrect accuracy range that possibly you have verifications that are tied to those accuracy ranges that you might be creeping uh, outside of. So, it's, it's definitely a useful tool and a useful check to, to take advantage of our named transducers. But let's actually just jump in to, to figure out how this is set up in a method. So what we can do is leave our testing workspace and go into the test method itself. And where we configure our transducers is in the measurement area. So just like any other physical measurement, uh, that this particular test method is using to, to capture raw data um, that I can see different available types and I can see the ones that have actually are active for this, this test. And so I can see that there was a, a 10 kilonewton load cell uh, that is required. And if I select that, I see some details on the right hand side. And this is my, my, my load cell, my force transducer that you're gonna be selecting. Um, and you have the choice to pick from this dropdown, whether it's just the default force or I have uh, two different named transducers that I've configured, which I'll, I'll get into later in, in the admin area of Blue Hill. Um, but for this method, I had selected 10 kilonewton load cell. So as I start each test, we're double checking that that load cell is, is actually plugged in. Um, so what, just to show, before I go into the admin, I wanna show what your method might look like right now. Um, if you do not have a names transducer in place, just to show 
us selecting uh, the setting properly. So I'll go back into the very same area into just a, a new method that I opened up. And by default, this is what it looks like. You have time, displacement, force. And the default selection for which transducer we're going to use for force is simply force. So regardless of the capacity or load cell that you're plugging into that force channel, that we're going to be able to run that test. Um, so that might be good for certain situations, but if you're really trying to control what, which transducer, which load cell or extensometer is being used for a particular test method, then that's when we want to take advantage of this named transducer. But that is configuring the method. Before we get there, if we're actually trying to configure this on our system, where do we do that? Um, I'm back at the home screen. I'll go into our admin role where we are setting up the devices on the system. And we have a transducers section. And so depending on the Instron frame that you are operating, that there's going to be a number of kind of default transducers that are populated here, uh, depending on what system you have. But you can see towards the end of the list, I there has been a 10 kilonewton, 5 kilonewton uh, load cell that have been created, also a lower capacity load cell. I even have um, some extensometers called out. And this is how I configured these kind of customized transducers. Uh, and so how do they get over here? So we look over to the left at what are the different available types. And if I want to configure a, uh, say, I have my 10 kilonewton, 5 kilonewton, and 100 newton load cell, maybe I, I I recently purchased a, a one kilonewton load cell, and we need to set that one up. So I can uh, select force, and it'll, it'll throw a new uh, force transducer down at the bottom. And I can call this my, my 1KN load cell. It'll be connected into the, the, the force channel. And we're identifying it. So we're tying it to a specific serial number or set of resistor codes that uh, are inherent to that device. Um, so that's kind of that link that we're forming. Um, and once you've, to do this, you actually need to plug in the load cell itself uh, to, to properly set up admin. And then you're going to have to restart Blue Hill because this type of, uh, of change to the software does require a restart. Uh, but once you've done that, uh, then you're able to go into your test method and make those changes as I had described. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the feature of named named transducers that we wanted to share today. Um, I believe that we have a couple of frequently asked questions that we're going to get to uh, to close the session. So we're going to jump to those now. So the first uh, question that comes up quite frequently is, what happens if I share the test method between systems? So as, a, as, as Instron, as supporting you all, that we always will recommend that we are sharing test methods. We don't want to have the same method being copied over and over to different test systems. So we certainly recommend and encourage people to share that, that test method if you do have multiple systems running that same test. But if we're using our named transducers and we're calling out a particular load cell capacity or a particular extensometer to, to make sure we're running the test correctly, that each of those systems needs to have your admin configured this way, or else uh, your technician will receive that very same message where maybe on one system, everything's set up properly, uh, they can run tests, but if you share that method to a, a system number two, and you don't have a 10 kilonewton load cell called out in your admin, uh, settings, then they're going to try to run that test, but they can't do it. Um, so that's certainly something that you need to be aware of, that we need to make those admin changes at every system. And the, the second frequently asked question uh, that we'll close on is whether or not we can use this within Blue Hill Elements. So Elements is our lower tier software that is sold specifically for our, our 3400 uh, electromechanical systems. 
And the answer to that is, is yes. Um, so you can go into admin within Blue Hill Elements, do this very same, uh, this very same setup, and make sure that we we link methods to the proper transducers. Um, that's it. So again, thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to to listen to me and to listen into uh, this this Instron live session.